today's video is all about how to organize a great linen cupboard. This is my linen cupboard, so I'm gonna show you the techniques that I use to keep mine really neat and tidy and organized. And this is the way I organize my client's linen closet too. Now, I don't know about you, but I used to shove all of the matching bedding in a pillowcase and think that that was really being organized. It just got so messy. I couldn't keep on top of it. Now I've got a great routine and this works fantastically. I'm Maria from Organize My Life and every Sunday I release a new video on organization, life hacks, and generally how to do things better. So please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Right, let's go. So first of all, let me show you my linen cupboard. So I have doona covers at the top, spare pillowcases and also a spare doona cover for the kids that can be used for either one of my kids and the sheets already on the cover as well um, just handy if kids have wet the bed and you need a quick change it's all ready to go and um, then i have the towels on this shelf and then if i take you a bit further down so then i have some beautiful wicker baskets here with mattress protectors and uh, blankets then we have bedding for each of the kids that are all labeled. I find this works really well, so I can just um, take the appropriate bedding to each of the bedrooms to change it. And right down at the bottom here, I have these gorgeous uh, baskets, the hyacinth baskets from Bunnings, and I keep sports towels, toilet rolls in the middle, and uh, beach towels as well. So when it comes to organizing towels, I find that this is the best solution um, for a smaller cupboard. Um, and again, it, it works really well. If you have huge cupboards, then put everything in baskets. Um, it does keep it a lot, lot neater, but um, for our small cupboard, this works well. So I buy these dividers. Now these are actually bookends and I buy these in Kmart. Kmart, they're black metal. They're like three dollars they're so cheap but it just divides all the towels up without these dividers i can guarantee they uh, towels would just get thrown on the shelf which is exactly what i would do um but the fact that these dividers are here means i have to put the towels back in the appropriate section so these are great so you obviously you don't have to go to kmart but you can buy any and you can get them in all different colors you can get bamboo ones whatever's going to match with the the rest of your linen so um kids towels i have um a set that we're using and a set here that um are for spare or once one goes in the wash these are then put in use so always keeping them at a bare minimum these towels we've had for absolutely years they don't get used very often like i said but the way i just store them is to fold them neatly and we've just got a matching bath mat at the bottom just in case and again we have um two bath mats here and two towels which is great for a change and then i also like to freshen the bath mat as well so i might change that every couple of days um, again once we put ours in the wash that we're currently using then these are going to be taken out this is all we need we do not need anything else i used to have so many towels that never got used and they're just completely cluttering the linen cupboard so if you're the same get rid of them give them to the charity um, if you're not using them just just remove them because it does make a huge difference and um, since I've started this technique, my linen cupboard always stays extremely tidy. Now folding. Do you find that everybody folds different and the way it goes on the shelves looks completely different? I use the, uh, the Marie Kondo technique. Um, I fold my tea towels like this, my dishcloths like this, my face washes like this. Um, this method works it always looks neat so i'm going to show you how i like to fold my towels okay so i've got a normal bath towel here the first thing i do with this bath towel is to fold it lengthways first in half so you end up with a towel like this and then i fold this in half so then it looks like this 
and then I get the end that's got this bit on I fold it into the middle and then I fold it over again so as you can see it's an absolute perfect bundle it's a good rectangle shape and when it's placed on the shelf it looks extremely neat So next we have um, these beautiful baskets. Now I buy these in Kmart. They're really hard to get hold of. They're $14 and they are the rectangle basket. In fact, I always keep the label on um, because I'm always asked this question and I can never remember. So actually, these are the large rectangle collapsible basket and these are 30 by 42. So they fit perfectly um, this way round. Now, as I do declutter and organize a lot of linen cupboards for my clients, um, quite a lot of people have got 40 deep, uh, 40 centimeters deep linen cupboards. So I then put them this way round, which means I can fit a lot more on the shelf. So just bear in mind when you're trying to organize your linen or you're trying to do a complete makeover, check out all the sizes and see what fits in first. I use the wicker because it gives like a nice really warm feel. Um, yeah, I just like these. They are also really compatible with some of the cheaper plastic white ones as well. Um, and I put these nice little chalkboard labels. A lot of things are labeled in my linen because I just, I like labeling. Um, so this one is labeled blankets. So again, don't use these as much, great for the winter. This one is where all my uh, mattress protectors are. Um, with children, I find I do use these quite often um, and the pillow slips as well. So rather than leaving them on the pillows, I do take them off, wash them, and then I put them away. So as you can see, the wicker with the white plastic rattan look and the wicker at the bottom, it works really well and it looks warming and with it being all labelled in black chalk labels. It all matches to and works really, really well. So these at the bottom here, these are the Hyacinth Basket from Bunnings. The large ones are $17 and the small ones are $13. These are a bargain. Uh, the same ones in Ikea, I think are maybe like $29. So check out your local Bunnings. Again, quite hard to get in, but they are fantastic. And I can fit a lot of towels in these. So this is all my sports towels in here. I don't, in pantries, I actually don't like putting things on the bottom, but when you've got a small pantry, you need to make good use. So never just put towels on the floor, always put them in baskets first and they'll keep clean, save them from getting dusty as well. I also keep toilet rolls in my linen, but I just have it in the smaller Hyacinth Bunnings um, container. So I like this in here. The kids know where the toilet rolls are, so it works really well. And finally, the beach towels. Now, some of the beach towels can get really big and bulky, so these are a little bit harder to get out, but we don't use them very often, so um, at the way it is at the moment works really well for us. So this really works, this technique works. So get out there, measure your linen cupboards and do a great declutter and I promise you, you won't look back. Please subscribe guys if you have enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up as well. I read all your comments and I really do appreciate it and I try to reply to every single one of them. Have a great weekend.